Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is SAS Master and today we're going to check out Booknetic. So if you're looking for a booking for your WordPress site, this is the way to go. So this is my Booknetic WordPress site. I'm already inside and as you can see, this is actually my WordPress site, but I'm inside the options of Booknetic. So if I want to go back to my WordPress, normal WordPress, I'll click right here. So there's a whole bunch of options about Booknetic that we're going to go through in a bit, but I want to show you the main things about Booknetic. So these are the core features about Booknetic, and we're going to go through them really quick because I want to show you what it's capable of. So first off, it has Google Calendar two-way sync. That means it's synced to my calendar. That means the two-way. So if someone books uh, on my site, it's going to agenda it on my calendar, on my Google Calendar, everywhere that I have it, you know, on my phone, on my computer, just Google Calendar, right? But if I do a personal booking or I set a date on my Google Calendar, it's also going to eliminate it from my Booknetic, so people won't be able to schedule in that date. So that's pretty cool, right? Next thing it has is WooCommerce payment method. So you can use your normal pay, you can add like PayPal that it has right here and Stripe, but you can also use your WooCommerce payment method. So with WooCommerce, you got all the available options with payment, so that's pretty cool inside full dashboard like the one you saw right now so it's not like that normal ugly wordpress type of options it actually takes you to its own dashboard multiple locations so you can add multiple locations manageable calendar multi-level categories uh, paypal and stripe most intuitive steps customizable design so you can change colors and look of the booking one multiple templates form builder service extras recurring appointments group appointments responsive design email notifications and break break days offs and etc so that means you can set certain dates certain dates and times for breaks so that means if you're eating lunch every single day at 1 to 3 p.m then you're going to eliminate that time zone so people can't book right so this is my book site i've already got it implemented right here and you can see i already have one of my locations already available so you can people can already book from here so if i click on this one and you're going to select you can have as many staff as you want i'll click mine and this is what's available, like, you know what, tutorial video or just advertising. For this case, I'm going to use this $0 one so we don't go through that payment process. I don't have extra extra uh, services for this one, so I'll go next. And I can set the date. Now, I'm in January, but I can't book in January, obviously. And I set it to a buffer that they can't, they have to book at least one or two days no, I think I said it by three days. So they have to book in advance three days. So that gives me time to like schedule and get things going, right? So I'm going to say it's day three and I have these available hours that I can book. So I'll select this one. I'll go next. And it gives me a bit of information that I have to fill out. So I'll just fill anything out right here. Surname. I'll just keep that right there. And phone number. Next step. Now, since this is $0, in this case, I have set up PayPal, but I'm going to set it to local right now because I'm not going to do anything. And it gives you the option to create coupon codes also. So maybe you do, you're, um, you're selling a service for $500 and you want to give a 20% discount coupon that's available inside of Booknetic. All right, so I'm going to set to local, go to next steps. Since it's $0, it's already reserved. So I can add this to my Google Calendar. So if I click here, it's going to take me to my Google Calendar. That means if... I'm the user, the client, it's going to take me and it's going to give me this information so I can book it. In this case, I'm not going to save it. And you can start a brand new booking or you can finish booking. Now you can set, once you click finish booking, it's going to take me to the main site. But I can set whatever site I want. I'll start on the brand new booking and I just want to show you really quick what happens when I click on a paid service. So I'll click on a paid service and I have an extra right here. I'll say like extra five minutes, right? So it costs you 10 bucks. And I want two of these. So I'll go next step. Select the date. Right now, we're going to go through the settings. Don't worry. Go next. And we got to put all this information in. And it'll take us to the payment gateway. All right. Now, the fun part. What's available in the options? To have a great booking app, you have to set it up really good. So it's going to take you some time to set up at the beginning. But after you set it up, it's going to be an easy breeze. I mean, just let it be, right? So right now, this is my dashboard. And I have the appointments right here by view. So I got appointments now, duration, revenue, and pending. If I click on yesterday, let me click on that. Tomorrow, this week. So I haven't done any right now. Oh, there we go. This year. So I have four appointments, out four hours duration, and all that. In the bottom, I got the upcoming appointments and I have the pending ones. 
So you got that information and a breeze. Next thing we're gonna do is head on over to settings. All right, so here in settings are the main settings for this Booknetic app. So what's, what's important about this is that you set it up right. So we're gonna go to general settings right now. And the first thing is that we're gonna set up is, for example, time slot length. So you can set the time slot length right here to what it's going to be. Set slot length at service duration, so it's, it can be different. Minimum time requirement prior to booking. So I'm giving them, for example, here one day. It could be more, you can just set up what you want, or one week, or whatever. That means that they can book, They give it gives you time to actually schedule it, right? You got limit booking days, so you're gonna say, hey, you know what, you can't book after three months, man. I mean, I, I don't know what's gonna happen in three months. I, I don't know. I might change the price on the service. I might not be there. I might book uh, a vacation. I don't know, so I don't want people to book after 90 days, but you can change that if you want. So just say, hey, you know what, you just don't book. You can only have time to book 30 days, all right? That's the time. Redirect Earl. Remember I told you once you click finish booking, it's gonna take them to my main site, but you can send them to a special a special page, maybe a landing page, a promotion page, or whatever you want, right? Default appointment status, so it's approved or pending. So if you set it pending, then you gotta manually approve it every single time. It, it could be good if you wanna do that, but I leave it to approved. Set email as required field. You can set this, set phone number as a required field. Do you want the phone number, yes or no? Um, sometimes I think people are discouraged when you actually ask for the phone number. In my personal case, I don't like to give out my phone number. I mean, maybe I'm just like partially interested, so I don't want to book until like I'm ready or whatever. I just don't want to give my phone number out, right? So you, that could be optional. Show service extra steps if you want to show that. If you're not going to use extra steps, just remove it so it doesn't take you to that page. Uh, high location steps if you want to, if you're only doing one location. So in this case, if I'm not going to use different locations, I'll hide that. So I'll hide that and I'll remove extra steps if I'm not going to use it. Um, I think they're really interesting. I would use it, so I'll keep it. Hide staff steps if you're only one staff. Um, in this case, I'm right now the only one in the staff, so I'll hide that. Hide confirmation detail steps, so you can hide that or keep it. Date format, now this could change depending on how you want to use it. So for example, um, in this case, it's day, month, and year. And some countries, first it's the month, and then the date and the year. So it gives you the option, three options, all right? Type format, is it going to be this? You got this option, or these, all right? So you got that right there. Once that's set up, head on over to payment settings. So in payment settings, obviously set the currency that you're gonna be charging with. So you got all these options. So basically they're all there. Currency format, price number format, price number decimals. Local payment is, for example, you saw that I have available local payment. If you're only gonna do like virtual things and you're not gonna have anyone physically like visit your store or something like that, then you remove local payment. High payment methods in section if you want. Customer can pay full amount. Can pay, yeah. You could be like 50% or all of it. And in this case, you set up PayPal and Stripe. You has, you set the APIs there. I'm not going to open it because I don't want you to have my API information. <laughs> all right. Enable WooCommerce payment gateway. So if you have available WooCommerce installed on your WordPress site, that means you can use the WooCommerce gateway. Right now I had it disabled, that's why it didn't show. But if you wanna use WooCommerce gateway, that's the way to go. So for example, I'm in Mexico, and in Mexico there's a payment gateway that's called Mercado Pago. And if I can use that through this WooCommerce. So that's pretty cool. Company details. Obviously, SaaS Master, if you wanna set an address, phone, website, you can set that there business hours super important that you set this up right because it's all going to be based on this so you got every single day of the week so you got monday tuesday wednesday thursday and all that so on and so forth so you got the date that where you want to start it at right so i'm going to start off at 10 a.m right and i wanted to stop that's okay 6 p.m right i don't want it to book at 7 8 you know what i might go out to dinner i might have a date or whatever that's just that's the 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 most you can do or maybe you think you know what if someone books at 6 p.m. it could go longer in that meeting it could take you know what the meetings for an hour but it can go a little bit longer two hours three hours you don't know so maybe I want to set it you know what 1 p.m. is the max you could do right you can set breaks from 2 to 3 p.m. maybe that's the the hour I eat lunch so I'll set that up you can add another break if you want and you got all these dates so for example Saturday and Sunday 
you can't book so it's a day, a day off so you can't even book those days all you all that is set up really quick all right what else do we have holidays the reason i'm showing you all this is because in a sense knowing what the settings are is you know the capability of bugnetic of how powerful it is so you got the options available here all right holidays you can just select the holidays that you want to add or remove and that means they can't book those days so for example you want to book like you know what uh thanksgiving day christmas a uh, new year and all those you set all those up so they can't even book those days email settings is where you're going to receive the email obviously you want to set it to the wordpress email or you want to set up your own smtp email easy right google calendar that's where you set it up you set your api obviously i'm not going to open it i don't want you to have my api sorry guys um sms settings if you want to add your sms setting right here that means you can also set for people to get the sms and also you get the sms all right now let's head on over to the good part first thing i recommend is that you head on over to staff at your staff members first right let's wait for that okay here's my staff members you can add a brand new one right here so these staff members are from are going to be pulled from the wordpress users so create as many as you need uh, full name, email, phone, image, location, and note. Weekly schedule. So these guys are going to configure to the timesheet that I have. Uh, special days for this guy. So let's just say this guy, you know what? He, he's not working these days, so you can add those days. Um, the holidays, or for example, if you want to configure it to different, a specific timesheet that's not based on the one you have. So let's just say, you know what? I hired a guy that he only works Monday to Thursday. Thursday, yeah. So I set those dates and I removed the other ones, right? So it could be individual uh, dates for that. Once you set up the staff, I recommend that you head on over to services. Look for that. So in services, you got a nice like waterfall type of organization right here. So you start off by categories. In this, in this case, I have two categories. So it's video requests and get deal listed because that's what my site is based on. And I'll be making this whole more complex than it looks right now. This is just the basic settings for me. And there's a tutorial video that you saw right now, the example, and there's the advertising one that you saw also. You can add more just by clicking here. And what's gonna happen is that you can set the service name you can set it to the category. In this case, I clicked it on this one, so it's going to be a video request. You can set an image for that. Price, what's going to be the deposit, 100% or 50%. The duration of this, the time slot length, the buffer time before and the buffer time after. That means, so for example, I'm booking now and I have available from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? But if, I, if someone schedules at 1 p.m., if I set the buffer that they can't schedule any like one hour before, that means it's going to remove that hour. So once, let's just give me an example, right? Uh, so one hour right here and also one hour after. So if someone books at 1 p.m., it's going to remove the time from 12 to 1 p.m. And it's going to remove the time from one hour it's gonna it's gonna start at 1 a.m and it's gonna finish at 2 a.m if i set it one hour and it's also gonna remove from 2 to 2 p.m to 3 p.m i hope i got that right uh just understand <laughs> it's gonna remove those buffers because that's what i said is it gonna be recurring yes or no the capacity it's gonna be alone or group and boom voila you add that service but you can also set the staff members that are going to be there so for example let's just say this service is about marketing you don't want to set everyone i mean you don't want to set for example i don't know the people who make videos you don't want to add that staff there so you add the staff member that has to do with marketing so it's it's stick to them only timesheet who oh, lost my breath timesheet special days you can set that there and the extras remember we saw the extras that i for example you saw the example like extra uh five minutes of video then you can set it right here easy and straightforward right all right so once you set that up you got also the view of customers you got payments right here you got your calendar by appointments if i click the calendar you're going to view what's going on in that calendar right now so you can see we got these bookings right here and that's how you're going to view them you can view today you can be week day list location and all that good stuff also the appointments you're going to view them right here so this is what's been going on you got the sms notifications locations Remember we set locations, if you want to turn that off, then you're good to go. 
But I think you have to create a location for actual to work. You got to create one. But if you don't want it to show on the booking, you just remove it in the settings. Ooh. Then we got the good part, appearance. So in the appearance, you got these options. So as you can see right now, this is the appearance. I got that black look, like kind of dark mode. But you can change those to all of these that are available, or you can create your own custom style. You can just change the colors on everything and make it custom customizable to your branding. So let's just say your branding side is, um, I don't know, red. Then you select red, right? So it sticks to that same branding. And you can also create custom forms. Let's wait for that to load. You can create a form right here that's going to be one that they can fill in instead of having that default one. Let's wait for that to load. There we go. Now it's loaded. Okay, so here is the way you can customize and you got all these options, label, text input, text area, number input, and all these, right? Select, you just drag them inside and you can start editing, right? And you got the options right here for that. So it's label, placeholder, help text, requires choices, and all that good stuff. Easy and straightforward. You can create, create your own form. That's more to your liking and more targeted to what you need instead of having that general form. So there you go, guys. That is Bugnetic. Um, there's really exciting news. I heard from the founder that they're going to create a SaaS for this Bugnetic. So that's pretty interesting if you guys are interested in offering the service to other people. So that's pretty cool. So that's software as a service. So you can have it not based just on WordPress, but also use it on sites that are not WordPress based. So that's pretty cool that you're going to have that option available. All right, guys, my name is George. This is SaaS Master. And if you guys are interested in buying the deal, the link will be in the description. See you guys later.